Hey again! All right, let's talk sprays. You can make so many kinds of sprays, obviously like perfume sprays, linen sprays, deodorizing the air sprays, um, what else? Cooling spray, um, outdoor annoyance spray, you know, to keep those six and eight legged things uh, out of your hair or whatever. Um, actually, we just made some uh, and a make and take I just did a week ago. So um, <clears throat> good stuff for that. We do have an insect repellent that actually, I think in the rollerball video, if you've already watched that, I put some of that in a rollerball. So that's great for your skin. Um, but then the spray is great for your clothing um, feet. And you can, but there's different oils that work better depending on what you're trying to keep away from you. Um, so check out the charts on that kind of thing and make your own. Spray, right, all right, for whatever you've got going on in your area. Um, what I would like to show you, though, we use a spray for Jack, okay? Um, so when you're making a deodorizer spray, especially for linens and things like that, it's probably best to use half witch hazel and half water. The witch hazel is going to evaporate faster, so things moisture is not just going to sit on the linens or whatever um, as long. So half and half and then whatever oils in there, okay? Now, for Jack... He loves himself, so he chews himself. This is a problem we have had for over a decade now, okay? But um, to get the oils to, like, mix well and emulsify well in there, especially since I'm just going to use water, um, he's got hot spots. This is for his open wounds. So we're and trying to keep him deterred from messing with it and keep it from getting infected and all that kind of stuff. And so I use some of the Animal Sense line. This is a best as in used as a trio, okay? So I just make a spray using these three oils, which um, it is first Puri Clean, Mend Well, and Infect Away. Okay, so that is what we're going to use on his open wounds. But I found that it's easier to mix them together, let it sit for 24 hours, whatever, and then we have a handy dandy spray. This spray is called Jack. Okay, whatever. So I know how it is. Um, but to get them to blend well, I'm going to use a little bit of Epsom salt. You can use Himalayan salt, you use sea salt, regular old salt, whatever, but it just kind of helps to keep the oil, get the oils mixed in well, okay, and blend. So um, I do um, usually about 15 of each, and I guess it's not really going to matter what order I put these in. Now, this might be a wrong thing from what um, I just know these are best as a trio, and it may be better instead of blending to do layering. Um, but this is working for us, so this is what we're doing. But you can do, you know, whatever. So, um, okay, 15 of that, and then the mend well. There are so many spray recipes out there. Um, There's some that are great for, you know, some of those oils for the bedroom, getting getting in the mood and that sort of thing, or are just having a calming thing. Lavender is great for calming, guys. If you're trying to get sleepy or have little ones that aren't sleepy, we, we definitely go through a lot of that. Um, lavender is great just as a spray. Make a pillow spray. Mm. Um... Definitely perfumes. I mean, normally I'm wearing diffuser jewelry and putting my oils on topically for perfume, but, um, you know, some people, I, I got over smelly sprays. I'm, I'm over it. I used to use them like crazy, uh, but not anymore. All right, so I'm just going to put, sorry, you can't see me. Aha! I'm just going to put a couple of pinches of salt in here. I just don't want it to burn his open wound, so that's why I'm using Epsom salt, because I think that'll be good. Um, and you could actually put the oils, like, right in the salt, and then just dump the salt in there. Um, but they're super helpful. That's a great um, trick with the Vitality oils for cooking, too, just to get them, like, you know, not sitting on everything and just really mixed in really well. All right, and then I just top it with water. Okay, I use um, bottled water. Usually um, I have a big jug of distilled water that I keep and just top it off, shake it up, and go to town and spray his little hot spots. Okay, so that's a, a good 
make your own there, okay? Let the, um, for the blending, let them sit for 24 hours. Um, if you're just making a spray, like a room spray or a linen spray or whatever, you don't have to let it sit for 24 hours. It's fine. Um, I just do this so that those three oils blend together. So I've got my doggy hot spot trio thing going on here, okay? The other one I really want to show you, in your starter kit, you are going to get, or you have already gotten, hopefully, um, a sample packet of the Thieves Household Cleaner. This is the bomb. Okay, this is so easy. This packet is about three and a half capfuls, um, but you obviously don't have a cap. So there's dilution ratios on the back of the parts, okay? Um, I'm just going to tell you, like, for example, regular cleaning applications, it says one part cleaner, 30 parts water. So... You would do one teaspoon, because that equals one capful, and 30 teaspoons. Um, I'm not counting 30 teaspoons, so I'm going to go with the mentality that I know of one capful to about two uh, cups of water for the regular cleaning. Now, one cup is eight ounces. This is a stainless steel bottle. I would recommend stainless steel or glass for these um, in case you're going to use a citrus oil or something like that. Just keep keep steady with that uh, mentality through all of these um, DIY things. Um, <clears throat> so the stainless steel, it's not obviously, there's not going to be any toxins, it's not going to break down, none of that. Um, this is actually the same exact bottle that you get in the welcome kit that I give you so that you can go ahead and get started making your Thieves household cleaner, okay? So I'm just going to demo here. I'm not going to open this packet because I'd rather save it to share with someone else, um, but I am going to use this, okay? Um, I'm not gonna use the capful. I'm gonna really show you how the whole teaspoon thing works. This is so easy. So get that bottle that came in your welcome kit, grab your packet of thieves cleaner, open it up, get a teaspoon, pour one teaspoon out of it and into the bottle, and then seal that baby back up with a, I don't, a clip, whatever you gotta do, um, so that you could make another bottle when that one runs out or get another bottle like this or a glass bottle you've got or whatever and make it for another room or whatever because this is going to replace every cleaner in your home literally it this is the first notice of what I'm not spending at the store on this constant instead I'm just using this concentrated bottle that I will have for months and months and months okay so then you just top it off with water that's it just top Top it off with your distilled water. Maybe try to stay away from um, tap water. I'm sure it won't matter, but depending on what's in your water, you know, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. I personally like to stay away from the minerals and that kind of thing and just try to be in that habit, especially for like the diffuser. Um, another cool option, if you, after a year or so from buying it, end up with an empty bottle of this, you can put the spray top on your thieves cleaner bottle boom I love that idea okay but this one's not empty yet and so maybe maybe in about I don't know four or five months <laughs> I'll have an empty thieves spray uh thieves cleaner bottle but you'll know exactly what's in it and that's it guys boom done so Make your thieves cleaner. Make whatever other kind of sprays things. Check out some recipes. Uh, Drops of Knowledge is going to have tons of information. Um, hit me up. Whatever. And whatever you're interested in making, do it. It's, it's so fun and easy, right? Easy. All right. Enjoy.